All right, welcome back to the shop. This is going to be sort of interesting for me because um, I don't know how the order of the this is going to shake out, or you know, I guess the order in which you watch my videos. Because this will probably be the last time that you see me do anything in the shop. I've got to start packing. I've got things worked out with the new job. Uh, I start, you know, in just over two weeks from now. Which doesn't give me a lot of time to get things squared away, cleaned up, packed up, moved. Uh, and I can't move it all at one time. I'm in a situation, fortunately, I'm in a situation where I don't have to take everything all at once. Uh, I can take just the essentials and that's about it for now until I get my new shop situated. Whatever that ends up being. Um, some different backstory on that, but nothing that's really of any real consequence. But here's my strategy. I think I'm going to be relegated to taking one toolbox with me. And I'll insert a picture of the toolbox that I'm going to take with me. Uh, it's, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, is the big Milwaukee cabinet that I keep. It's currently my bar in my, in, in my kitchen. But anyway, uh, that's a nice tool chest and I'm going to bring it with me and that should hold just about enough tools to hold me over for now. And then the other tool chests, which, you know, I never really talk about it, but I've got those tool chests, those are three high, and then, you know, I've also got another set over there that's stacked three high, and uh, if you can see, yeah, so anyway, this, the whole, the whole rear section behind me, floor to ceiling, pretty much, is all tool chests. Um, anyway, so I've got to condense from six tool chests down to one tool chest, and that makes me a little uncomfortable. So, I think if I clean up maybe a couple small tool chests, tool boxes, I can get more tools in there, and Catherine won't yell at me, and I'll be able to bring more tools with me. So anyway, what I want to do is I'm going to clean this one up. This is an S&K box. Uh, S&K, um, you know, a lot of people are, are, are fans of their sockets and things like that, and um, you know, I'm really indifferent. I'm not really brand loyal to anything. But uh, there is some notoriety with the name. You can see the S and K there. So, so I want to try to preserve this sticker uh, as best I can. It's slightly embossed, um, and usually these things come in at a pretty high price. And uh, I'm pretty comfortable with what I paid for this one. So, anyway, let me go over and dust this thing off in the media blaster and see if we can uh, give it a coat of paint, and I'll be able to sneak more tools out of here with in this. Alright, so I've got the box you sort of dusted off with the media blaster and then I went ahead and put some this rust dissolver on it. I've had mixed results with it. Uh, it when it some places it works really well. Some places, you know, it doesn't seem to do anything at all. A and I can't seem to find any rhyme or reason, especially with, with metal that may have been I, I don't know if it's like pot metal or whatever, where there might be a bunch of different types of metal, just sort of an amalgamation of things thrown together and cheap stamp toolboxes and such. Um, but anyway, this takes about a half hour for it to work, according to the label. And then I'm going to take it out and hose it off. And uh, then I'll show you what it looks like after it's been hosed off. But it's so hot out here now. This gives me a break to go inside and cool down a little bit. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. Alright, so the, the box is more or less rust-free now. I put that rust dissolver on there. You can see where it's sort of worked better in some places than others. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I just dried it off with the torch. I blew it off and then hit it with the torch. Because it's going to flash rust so quick in, in, in my shop. Anyway, let me go ahead and tape this off and then I'm going to paint it. And I'll bring you back after I've got it painted. Alright, so I've got a coat of bed liner on the inside of this, the truck bed liner, and then uh, just some regular old gray paint on the outside of this, but I think these 
we're, we're typically some sort of green, so I think I'm going to give this a shot of the green paint that Mark had given me in that nice viewer gift a couple weeks ago. So, let me give that another coat and I'll bring you back. Alright, so I've got this thing, uh, I painted it with the gray and then I used that green paint that Mark had sent me. And I think that really looks good. It's not an exact replica of the S&K green. However, it's good enough for the girls I go out with. Um, as AVE says. Um, anyway, I think it might look a little bit better if I were to try to maybe change the color on these. And it's a nice day out here in the shop. It's, it's been raining all day long, so it's nice and cool. I think I'm going to maybe get some time lapse and I'll see if I can touch these up and paint them a different color. I don't know what color yet. And then, of course, I've got to figure out how to touch up the, the name here. Um, and also, some of you may have watched the this is the wax handle. This has been pretty good. You know, there's a a little bit. I should have. I think the the trick is you're supposed to clear coat this stuff at the end, and I haven't done that yet. Uh, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and it just barely comes off. Anyway, it's pretty interesting uh, stuff. That's the the, the wax. Um, anyway, it's pretty neat stuff. So, anyway, let me let me get to tinkering around with this, and uh, and I'll bring you back when I'm done painting. Alright, so here's the finished SK toolbox. The green is not a perfect match, but you know, it's good enough. Uh, I, I, I'm happy with it, and I think that's all that counts because it's my toolbox. Uh, I went ahead and touched the hardware up with the paint, the sharp paint marker. Super happy with those. The, the inside has got a coat of the AutoZone, Advanced Auto, whatever your local auto parts store is called. Uh, they usually carry, even Walmart, uh, the truck bed liner, the, and I believe this is the Rust Oleum brand. Project Farm does a review on truck bed liners. Um, that's that's an interesting episode. If you if you have never seen Project Farm, go check him out. But anyway, I uh, I just grabbed some truck bed liner from the local auto parts store and sprayed the inside of here. And then of course this had a liner that was cut perfectly, so I just reinstalled it. Um, so anyway, this toolbox looks pretty good. I think it's gonna you know serve me well. And the it didn't all work out as planned. The S and K isn't very deep and it's just really no way for me to save that. I tried to touch it up with the paint marker but it's it's this this toolbox is probably one of the or one of the later models where they really started to value engineer and make you know junk if you will. This is super thin the the build quality I mean it's just a flimsy flimsy toolbox but it's it's still better than the plastic junkers they have out there now. So I so I can't be hypercritical of it. Uh, I think it'll serve me well. But again, it's not you know super rigid or anything like that. So anyway, that's the end of this toolbox. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of content that was here. There wasn't wasn't a lot to it. But anyway, I wanted to get something up on the channel before I start tearing this place apart. So, anyway, with that being said, I am going to stop talking about the toolbox and talk about the channel. So you guys can stop watching now if you're not interested in what's happening with the channel. Uh, if you are, I'm just going to, you know, talk for a couple minutes about what I think is happening. Alright, so, I've got to start moving very quickly. Uh, I've got a lot of boxes set aside. I've got to start packing the shop up. Like I said, I'm not going to take all the tools. It would be the media blaster, the air compressor, uh, you know, the shear, the parts washer the welders, the torches, the cabinets. Um, when I showed you the toolboxes earlier, I failed to mention that I have another tool bench on the other side of the shop with two more toolboxes, uh, another floor to ceiling cabinet full of motors and everything under the sun, uh, another six foot cabinet on the other side full of welding supplies, refrigerators, <laughs> belt sanders, grinders, uh, buffers, lathes, shape, or uh, surface grinders. I've got a lot of stuff. Anyway, I am not taking it all with me immediately. I'm going to take some of it with me. But as I sort of sort through these things, I'm going to come across duplicates, triplicates, you know. Some, I have a lot of tools. And I don't need all these tools. And what I, what I want to do, and, and I think this is a good idea, 
but but what I'd like to do is sort of give you the opportunity to to let me know if you're interested in you know have if you want me to just send you a tool and a Joe's shop sticker. I'm going to put an image up now of of the digital version of a drawing that my mother had done that Ben Maul had digitized and he'd done a wonderful job and I again Ben I cannot thank you enough for doing that it really means a lot to me so I went ahead and had just 50 stickers made up so if I get more than 50 responses <laughs> we're gonna have to wait but uh, but anyway for you know for our core group of guys you know for the 357 the scout crafter the Ben the wireworks you know the the the, the super wrench garage you know all these people uh, and, and you know the commenters, you know Bill and Lee and Russ and, and and you know all these all these other people that are constantly a part of the channel. Even if you don't have you know a YouTube channel or whatever, I'm going to put my email address up here. Send me an email with your address, and I'll be happy to send you a sticker. And you know if you'd like a tool of some sort, I will send you some. Um, and you know maybe if you tell me what you're interested in. I can maybe search for stuff. Uh, if, if there's a certain thing, if you're a screwdriver guy or, you know, a, a hammer guy or a girl or whatever. Um, you know, I have all sorts of stuff. I've got some novel tools. i got these can't slips that I've been looking at forever that I can't get to grip, actually. So this is sort of ironic. So I've got tools that need repair that are sort of beyond me. Um, and I have stuff that, you know, is perfectly functional with bits that you know is, is fine it just needs a little cleanup so so for any skill level you know these old tools I've, I don't have any application you know how many of these push drills do does a man need I've got you know probably a dozen of these things um, and you know I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if you can have too many uh, fencing tools but you know um, I've got a couple neat novel tools here I've got some some uh, never slips another set of uh, those are can't slips and these are never slips these have the replaceable jaw scout crafter done a, an episode or maybe even two on these and uh he's that's how i got turned on to these but anyway this is sort of a never a restoration that you know i never really got around to i think that the the channel sort of got saturated with all these lime and plier things and they're always interesting to watch somebody else do it but but anyway i have three or four good sets of these things and you know, if somebody's interested, I'll send them a, a set of old pliers if they want to restore it. And and you know, for me, I would I would ask only that you know, if you're gonna restore it or if you want a set of pliers, you know, either send me a picture of it when you're done, so that I can use it for the channel, or you know, if you're gonna use it on your channel and restore it, that would be cool. Even if it's just a picture, I don't I mean I'm not expecting a whole episode or anything on some stupid tool. I don't want to, I really don't care. I don't want anything back. I just I just want to make sure that you know that that these. That I'm just not sending tools to strangers or anything like that for no reason um, anyway but but more importantly I uh, I'm excited to get the stickers in I'm excited to have a little bit of propaganda to distribute to everybody for the shop and and again I think Ben did an outstanding job on that and uh, you know I, I'd like to send you guys some some stickers out there so uh, I'm gonna quit running on and uh, that's gonna be the last probably the Unless something, maybe some little content, but the last conventional episode that you'll see on this sort of first saga of Joe's shop. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and uh, I look forward to seeing your emails. Thanks, have a good day.